Hey man, what y'all boys got going on? It's Who Casper and we is back with another day in the life of Casper, man. I ain't gonna lie. If y'all can't tell, this is the same day from the last vlog y'all was watching. I've been hiding something from y'all. I'm finna show y'all in a little second, man. I got a surprise for everybody. All I'ma say is, if you remember me asking y'all a question in the last vlog, you kinda know what the surprise is. If you don't remember me asking you a question, I guess you're gonna have to find out when I get there. All I'm gonna say is the surprise is expensive and the surprise is big. But the only reason I don't care is because you feel me, my boy Mar uh kinda went in with me because it was my birthday uh coming up and stuff like that. And I'm not really too much tripping about spending the money because it's a gift to myself, you feel me? Like I don't really get gifts from a lot of people and stuff like that. So sometimes you gotta treat yourself to something nice because you know, nobody else will. So if ain't nobody else gonna give me birthday gifts. Or just in case don't nobody give me a birthday gift, I made sure I got myself something because you feel me, like, I've been going really hard, I've been hella dedicated, I've been putting in hella work, and personally, I feel like I deserve something nice, you get what I'm saying? So, we about to pull up on the surprise, man, y'all will be able to see the surprise when I get there, y'all boys just stay tuned, I shouldn't even turn in here, this shit was pointless, bro, I just turn my monkey ass around right here, but yeah, what I was gonna say, y'all, I'm finna pull up on the surprise right now, man, y'all boys just stay tuned, all I'm gonna say is, if you know, you know. If you don't, you don't. But if you don't know, I guess you'll know in a second. We like, I think we like two, three minutes away from the location of the surprise, y'all boys. It's crazy because it's not a surprise to me, but it damn near is a surprise to me because I haven't seen it in person yet. I know these folks like, damn, bro, is it a car? Is it a, is it a, is it an animal? What the fuck is it? Say, say you just gotta find out, bro. We we finna find out together, y'all. Stay tuned, man. Just know, like I said, the surprise is expensive. The surprise isn't cheap. And shit, man. It it, it it's it's worth the wait, y'all. Just 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 wait, man. I know y'all like, damn, bro. I'm tired of this nigga keep yapping. Where where the fuck is it? You you finna see what it is. Just give me two seconds, man. Y'all just y'all just just bear with me. All right, so I'm finna cut the camera off, and when I cut the camera back on, the surprise will be right here in front of the screen. And here's the surprise, y'all. Burrito tacos. Nah, let me stop playing. Shay, this, this is the real surprise, y'all. So we gotta, we gotta get LeBron. We gotta get LeBron right there. LeBron's right there. LeBron's right there, this the girl? It's so crazy, bro, cause these motherfuckers damn near identical, y'all. One bigger. He is bigger. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Say, it happened. Y'all was watching the last vlog and I asked y'all like, should I do it, yes or no? I, I went ahead and did it before y'all got a chance to answer the question. So, if y'all said yes, shit, we got it. If y'all said no, fuck you, I got it anyways. Anyways, but yeah, that's the surprise, y'all. We got we got a new, a new doggy walkie. But the thing about it is, I gotta come up with a name, y'all. Y'all gonna kinda have to help me with this. It gotta be ghost related. I'm thinking like, Spook or like. No. Ghost was hard enough. I know why you said that, but anyways, uh Ghost? Ghost was hard enough. Ghost was hard enough? My ghost. car my car was named the Ghost, bruh. So it's not here no more, so call that ghost. Alright. Say we killed the ghost ZL1, so now we got now we got the the ghost Frenchie. That's crazy, y'all. Y'all remember I've been claim I've been uh, complaining in my vlogs about how I be lonely and I have no girlfriend and I have no bitch. So now I have a son son. I have a, a form of entertainment. You gotta take your son to the park, man. Take your son to the park, let him run around with him. You already pissed. When let time that's all I'm gonna say when let time you the bathroom. You just shit in the box. No, I was saying. Girl. Well, you come on, comfortable, comfortable lady. You gotta go back to your your pop pop. Oh yeah, she's so little, bro. That shit crazy. Say y'all, check out my boy Ghost, man. Say the new addition to the Ghost family, man. We got we got a mascot now. Say now we just gotta get a car to go with my dog. Keep him in the crib. I'm gonna keep him in the crib anyway, twin. I ain't taking him no grass or no shit. So we get all the shots. I'm already gonna get worms and shit. Yeah. Or get sick. Y'all gonna say, bro. All right, so we currently in the car right now, y'all boys. I actually just missed my fucking turn. But anyways, we are in the car right now, y'all boys. We got that boy Ghost sitting on my lap. That boy is knocked out sleep. 
Uh, we heading to the nearest pet store so we could get them food, pee pads. We need bowls. You need a collar. You know all that good stuff, man. Just all the all the dog essentials, man. Cause I ain't I haven't had no dog essentials since Chewy. And if y'all don't know who Chewy is, Chewy is my very first dog. He's in some of my vlogs. Uh, y'all be seeing him from time to time. But Chewy stayed with my mama because long story short, when I was moving out, my mama had a dog. And right around the time I moved out, my mama dog passed away. So originally, I was going to bring my dog with me. And my dog was going to be living with me when I moved into my first apartment. But since my mama dog died, I felt like it was only right to like, you feel me, like, I, I don't know, man. I just didn't feel right leaving my mama lonely and stuff like that. And I knew, like, since her dog died, I knew she had, like, an attachment to my dog, too. So I was just like, maybe if I leave my dog with her, like, it'll help her. And it did. You feel me? Like, when, when my mama dog passed away and I moved out and I left my dog with her instead of bringing him with me. Mind you, I be busy a lot anyways, y'all. And I, I'm going to be honest. At the time, I really didn't have a lot of time to sit in the crib and take care of a dog and stuff like that. So it wouldn't have been cool for me to bring my dog with me anyways because, like, that's not cool to be leaving your dog in the house all the time and shit like that. Like, now it's a little bit different. I'm, like, fully into social media. I got time to take them with me, put them in my vlogs and stuff like that. So, it's a little bit easier now, but back then it wasn't like that. So, long story short, man, I left my uh, other dog, Chewy, with my mama after her dog passed away because, shit, like, it just, like, kind of filled in the space where her dog was missing at. And then, like, it gave her, like, a sense of security and made her feel comfortable at the house because she was in love with her dog. Like, that was her best friend. And mind you, Chewy was my best friend, but then again, bro, like I said, bro, I don't be home and I don't be able to watch him all the time. And I wouldn't want my dog to live no crappy ass life sitting in a penthouse all the time by himself. I know that when he with my mama and my sister over there, everybody over there is hella people for him to interact and play with. So that is why I left Chewy with my mama. So I ain't had a dog since then, y'all. And long story short, man, I don't got no dog essentials, no dog food, none of that shit because my dog stays with my grandma and my parent and my mama. So all of his stuff is over there. So with that being said, man, we gotta go get Ghost some essentials, y'all. He need like a, he need like a little, you know, need a little collar. My man's need bowls. He need food, all that good stuff. So we finna go pick that, that stuff up and get him situated, man. We just gonna get him all of like the doggy essentials. Y'all know what I mean. But it's crazy, y'all. Like. I thought I didn't want another dog, but now that I got another one, man, I thank Mar for uh, calling me and pulling up on me and bringing this dog to me because I swore I didn't want another dog, but now that I got him, like, I ain't gonna lie, y'all, like, shit, I'm happy now. You get what I'm saying? And it's crazy because I be lonely a lot, y'all. I mean, y'all know I ain't got no girlfriend or shit like that. And mind y'all, like, yeah, I talk to females. I go on dates and shit, but... I mean, I don't have a girlfriend, so it ain't nobody that I'm with every day, talk to every day, see every day. So sometimes I be in the house bored as fuck. Sometimes when I lay down at night, I be lonely, bro. And sometimes when I wake up, I be like, damn, bro, I live in this bitch by myself. So it's actually good for me to finally like have a dog or like have like something to take care of or something to worry about because a lot of times I be in the house bored with nothing to do. And when I'm not vlogging and stuff like that, y'all, I be lonely as hell. So. It's like my fucking son, y'all. Like, it's like having a kid or some shit. I got something to take care of. I got somebody to bring around with me. And shit, man. Now I got a new responsibility, y'all. So it gives me a reason to go twice as hard and make even more money. Because now I ain't got to just feed myself. I got to feed little bruh, too. And, you know, you got to take me to the vet and all that stuff. It's like having a real life kid, y'all. Like, even though he's not a baby, he's a baby. So. We finna take my boy to Target. I'm done with my little yap session, man. As y'all could tell, I am excited about the dog and I am happy that I got that motherfucker. Again, Mar, if you're watching this vlog, twin, thank you. I appreciate you. And shit, man. Y'all boys, y'all gonna get to watch Ghost grow up with me, y'all. Y'all watching me develop and y'all watch my whole development with this whole social media shit. And mind you, I'm nowhere near where I, where I want to be or where I'm gonna go, but... Y'all watch me start off in a regular apartment with no car to a penthouse to driving different cars every day. And shit, now I got a dog and he's a puppy. And y'all gonna watch him grow into a full grown adult in these vlogs. So that shit crazy, man. Everybody welcome ghosts to the family, y'all. Because like I said, man, as y'all watch me grow and as we grow together, y'all gonna watch him grow too. So he a puppy right now, but to think six months, nine months later in these vlogs, y'all, y'all gonna look back and he not gonna look like this no more. But, done with the yap session. I'll see y'all boys at 
Tarjay slash Petco, you know all the good shit. All right, y'all boys, so we are currently in, uh, we in Petco, finna get my boy uh, all of the little essentials he needs, man. So we need to get him a collar, he need food bowls, he need like a little bed to lay in, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. We also gonna look at all the pets they got in here, cause I ain't gonna lie y'all, I think they got snakes and tarantulas and shit in here. What the hell is this supposed to be? Oh, it's lizards, they right here, twin. What the fuck, nigga, it's real life chameleons. Look at these bro. It's a chameleon, twin, fuck that. I ain't never seen a chameleon before, in person. You ain't changing no colors? I don't know if they the ones that change colors though, twin. Well, I think they all change colors. I know them niggas green as fuck though. Bro, they looking at me like, why are you staring at me? Look at these little niggas. These little niggas look like desert lizards. That nigga like, bro, what the fuck, bro? That nigga like, stop, cuz. Bro, these niggas like, they ready to jump on your ass, twin. Look at how they all looking. That nigga like, bro. They not fucking with you, bro. All right, y'all boys, so. We really should have got a cart because I do need a lot of essentials for LeBra and I kind of want to put LeBra down yeah, and I know. These niggas look naked. You said they look naked? Ugly. Ew, it's, it's skinks, y'all. Not skinks, but uh, geckos. They call, well, it's like a something tailed gecko. Oh, this is a leopard gecko. He's something tailed ugly. It's hard though. Little <laughs> leopard geckos, what's in here? It ain't nothing now. Why y'all sleep? Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Say, of course you don't want to be messing with all the goddamn up. animals. Uh, oh. A veiled chameleon. What's supposed to be in this bottom one? Oh, they ain't got no more turtles. Them niggas be coming in here buying the shit out of turtles, y'all. There ain't no turtles in this bitch. Right, they said we got some parakeets, man. How you feel, ghost? You like birds? <laughs> they all asleep. I probably got something to do with it. They say we finna go look at the rodent snakes, y'all. What is this, chinchilla? Bro, they got chinchillas, y'all. What the fuck? Nah, bro, the chinchilla is crazy. Then they got chinchillas. I ain't never seen one of them shits in person. Just skin him alive and make a jacket out of his legs. That boy say he finna go do his two chains. That's actually crazy. I ain't never seen a chinchilla in person. Say, y'all, look, it's a chinchilla. It's like a, it's like a giant hamster or like a. A giant gerbil or something, that's how I would describe a chinchilla. I don't know no better way to put it. They, they look like giant hamsters though, y'all. Tell me LeBron don't look like a, a oversized hamster. LeBron, you like a hamster. What else they got in here, y'all? Huh? It's SpongeBob. Oh, they got SpongeBob house in here, y'all? SpongeBob. Sponge. SpongeBob. 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 Oh my god. Nigga say, nigga say, come out the house. Squidward. Oh, it's Plankton. Not Plankton. It's Gary. Squidward, get back to him. It's Gary. SpongeBob. Sponge. I got you, bud. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, y'all. That boy ghost tired. Hey man, we got some rats in here. Is one that? of y'all one of y'all push sad niggas in the cage, y'all. Nigga, this is this is what a fairy. This is a fairy. Twin, that is a, a This shit says fairy. Yeah, it's not no ferrets in there though, twin. That's a fucking what you call it? That's a chinchilla, nigga. Ain't no damn fairy. You don't know what a fairy look like, nigga. I had a fairy. I don't know what that is. A fairy is the shit with the long body that used to be running around my dad crib, twin. You remember that weird ass shit with the long ass body like a slinky? Wakey wakey exit bacon nigga. Bro, this nigga don't woke up all the fucking rats. Ew, mice. And they're all they're all albino mice. <laughs> Ew, he just had mice nuts. Why they all white? Why the fuck they ain't got no brown mice? Why the hell they got none but white lab rat? They got none but albino lab rat ass mice. Where the fuck the brown ones at? Mice stink, y'all. I had mice. I had I had mice uh, in my crib because I used to feed them to my snake. Man, that shit stink. Where the hamsters at? They ain't got no hamsters or no rats in here, y'all. What the hell? That's crazy. So everybody buying the hamsters and the rats, I guess. All right, man. We finna get my little nigga a dog bed, y'all. So first things first. Lee. Uh, I really need to go get a. Wait, I'm finna go get a witch pilot, a cart. 
Hey right, y'all, so we got we got my jitter bed, man. You feel me? So now he all comfortable and snugged up in the bed. Now we gotta get him. We need it. Puppy food. What else we need? We need pee pads. You know, stuff like that. So, all right, y'all, let's look around. Oh, yeah, he need dog bowls too, y'all. So, I'm finna get this man some bowls. I think this will be good. Little small silicone bowl. Now, do y'all got puppy bowls in specific? Like, are there bowls specifically for puppies? I don't know. Hmm. I don't know, y'all. I'm trying to figure out what type of fucking bowl I should get this little nigga. He ain't that small. They ain't use Alright. Next, we need pee pads, y'all. Because LeBron finna be pissing all over my crib. Okay, $34, $29. We finna go cost efficient on the pee pads. I don't feel like spending that much money on pee pads, y'all. Say, so, let's see, man. We got... The wee wee pad is crazy. Mm. Yeah, it looks like this is the best one. Y'all give me one something complete, man. All right, y'all. We got him some puppy food. We got him some regular food, pee pads. We got his bowls. And he got a bed. Now for the, the treats to train you. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so we got puppy treats with DNA for you, bud. You like that? I, I think you like it. I think you won't know until you try it, right? Ooh. Bro, you finna put this on. You This ain't a treat. We got your treats, though. We gonna teach you a whole bunch of little tricks and stuff. You gonna know how to flip, spin, and all types of shit. Toys you, you got fucking with, gang. You like this? You smelling him, cuz? You smelling him, cuz? He nibbling on it. I don't know if that means you like it, though. Maybe. Hold on, we gonna show you another one. I wanna see which one you get excited about. All right, a little bear. You like the little bear? Are you fucking with the little bear or not, bro? Nah, he like the little bear. Okay, so we're gonna get you one little bear. And it's squeak. Hold up. Squeak it squeaking. He like maybe. You want a fox? Are you want you want you want the, the fox or the raccoon? What you want? He looking at the raccoon. Nah, now he looking at the fox. Which one you want, bro? Which one you want? All right, you want the fox? All right, we're gonna put the fox on. Say, so LeBron made his decision, y'all. I ain't gonna lie. For him to be like, like a couple months old, he's very attentive and smart. Big lad. Say, we're gonna turn this nigga into a, a dog genius. All right, so you got your three toys, you got all your treats. That being said, we done with the uh, the puppy essentials. I'm trying to take this little nigga home, y'all. I do need to get him a damn what you call it made though. So we finna go ahead. We finna go ahead identify you real quick, cause ain't nobody stealing you from me. You crazy as fuck. Anyways, y'all, we finna get him a custom tag made, cause I'm extra as fuck. You feel me? His name is Go Ghost. What the fuck you talking about? Where's the button? Great. Enter access code. Found on the receipt. I don't have no receipt. I need a receipt to do this? That's lame. What the hell? Okay. Quick, quick update everybody. I'm dumb as shit. I'm over here wondering why it wouldn't let me type my dog's name on a tag. It's because you're supposed to choose what type of tag you want first and then you put it in here and then you print it onto the tag. Say so yeah man, my boy got a blue collar and we finna get that boy a ghost tag. Say eventually when we run up them racks, we're gonna get that boy a Cuban chain with a, a ghost pendant or like a Cuban chain with a F and F or like a Casper pendant or something. He gonna get him a chain eventually, y'all. Like mind you, he ain't got no chain right now, but by the end of this year, I bet me and my dog gonna have a chain around our neck. I promise y'all. Mark my words. Remember what I said in this vlog, y'all. Six months to a year from now, me and my dog gonna have a chain on, okay? Are you inserted into the machine like a cassette? Yeah, I know. That's why I was like, I'm supposed to look at that bit first. I gotta see which one I want. So what, you got the gold one in your hand? So I think, I think we finna get shot at the gold, motherfucker, y'all. Say so yeah, man, we finna, we finna grab a shot at that gold, motherfucker, y'all. That, that light one. 
All right, let's do it. You gotta pay for it first. Okay. So we finna buy this, and then after we check this out, man, we gonna go ahead and get his name engraved on it, man. That boy gonna have his uh, he gonna have his name on a gold doggy bone. Say, say, you only a couple months old. You got you a gold chain, cuz how you feel? Look like. But yeah, man, I catch y'all boys when we get done checking out and we get to uh, engraving the little pendant and stuff. So I'll come at y'all in a second. Get back. Get back. You fall out, you want me looking slow. That boy said, I'm ready to get out. When you get home, we gotta take to the bathroom, bro. But yeah, say, so we checking out all of his uh, essentials right now, man. Alright y'all boy, we back into the vlog man. Before y'all boys think about going to go buy a dog, y'all look at this shit man. That shit say $212. Y'all seen, all I did was get little bruh food, toys, bowls, a dog bed, and pee pads. $200. So all y'all people that want pets and shit like that man, y'all folks remember bro, having a pet is a full time responsibility. Paying for your pet is almost like paying for a goddamn it's like having a child, y'all. Like, legitimately, bro. Like, it's a full-time responsibility, bro. First first off, it's not cheap to keep up with a pet. Pet visits to the vet and stuff like that is not cheap. It's just like you taking yourself to the hospital. Food is not cheap for a dog. Water is not cheap for a dog. I'm not going to lie, y'all. Owning any type of pet is expensive, and it's a full-time responsibility. So before y'all folks go buy a dog, y'all watch this vlog and make sure y'all ready for that commitment before y'all do it. Because like I said, a lot of people be watching people with dogs and be like, I want a dog so bad. But you don't realize, bro, you got to invest your time into this dog just like it's a regular-ass person. Little bro finna be with me 24 hours throughout the day just like he's like my actual son or something. So if y'all folks ain't ready for a full-time commitment, do not buy an animal. But to all the people that want to buy pets and you feel me, you got the money, you ready for the commitment and you feel like it's worth it, shit, do it. That's what I tell you to do. But we finna uh, get this tag made for him so we can put it around his neck and stuff <coughs> like that. Because my boy do need him a little custom tag. I be damned if I ever, now mind you, I would never lose him. I would never misplace him. But if he ever did end up wandering around somewhere or... He ended up getting lost, you feel me? I wanna make sure he's very easy to find. So I'm gonna put a chip inside of him so I always know where he's at and I can always find his location. And then I'm gonna put a dog tag around his neck so you feel me, you know what his name is and stuff like that. So if you see the dog tag around his neck and you see his name and you don't bring him back to me, I'm on your ass. But he gonna have a chip in him anyway. So even if you do find him and you try to take his tag off and sell him or breed him or keep him, I'm gonna come find you. And I'm gonna put built to ass, little bruh. You be lucky I will put you in a grave about this dog. But all I'm gonna say is, yeah, man, we finna get his tag made so people will know what his name is, and then we gonna get him chipped so we can find him no matter where he is in the world. No cap, no kids. Let's go ahead and get this, uh, let's go ahead and get this shit printed out, though. It's a 10 digit activation code. I typed it in. N Y I 2 8. Oh, I missed the letter. Okay. So, yeah, y'all. We finna go ahead and get his tag engraved. I'm gonna show y'all the whole little process of getting your dog a custom dog tag. So, here we go, man. They say, first things first, you gotta slide your custom dog tag into the machine. Alright, so now it's in there. It says, let go of the cassette and click continue. Please wait while I identify your tag. So... It looks like the little machine scanning the tag or something right now, y'all. I really can't tell what it's doing. Okay, it says, does this look like the tag? Yes, it does. It says, you can engrave both sides of this tag. Let me suggest the layout, okay. Cell phone and home pet name, let's do it. Okay, so on the front, y'all, we gotta put his name on the front, man. That boy's name is Ghost, y'all. And then, let's see what type of symbols they got. We're gonna put, oh no, nah, we're gonna go back, y'all. Backspace, backspace. So we're gonna do ghost with the money sign. Okay, boom. We're gonna put not worth. Hold up, y'all. Y'all on the back, man. Hey, look, Lee. Look at what I'm putting on the bit. <laughs> Fuck you talking about. Yeah. Go back to this. Then we're gonna hide right, child. So right now, I guess it's engraving my little uh, tag from my dog. And then as soon as we pull it out, man, we're gonna go ahead and put it around my boy neck. That boy knocked out, y'all. Wake up, Fluffy. 
That boy in there knocked out. But yeah, man, as soon as we get done printing this tag out, we're going to put it on his collar and put it around his neck. And then we're going to take him to the house and get all of his stuff set up as far as like his pee pads, his doggy bag. I ain't mean to say doggy bag, but when we get home, we're going to get all this stuff set up as far as his pee pads, his doggy bed, his bowls, and get all his toys set up and figure out where we're going to put him at because I know uh, he going to want, like, his own specific area in my crib. Like, dogs are territorial. Like, they usually, like, choose a corner in the house or, like, a certain room or something like that. So we're just going to lay him down on the floor and see where he walked to. And the first place he walked to is where I'm going to put his bed, plain and simple. But we almost done engraving this tag, y'all. I will come back to y'all when we are all the way complete. And then I'll show y'all what the tag looked like. And then we're going to get the hell up out of here. Hey, y'all. Here we go. Say just like that, man. Say we got ghost on the front with the dollar sign, man. And then on the back. Y'all see what that bitch say on the back. No cap, no kids, man. We're going to go ahead and put this around my boy neck and get the hill up out of here. All right, y'all. So right now, man, we on the way to the crib. I ain't going to lie, y'all. This man lazy as shit. This man been like, ever since I picked him up, which was probably like an hour or two ago, man, this nigga don't want to do shit but sleep. Now, mind you, when you pick him up or you take him out the car, that nigga be hella active. He be wanting to play and shit. But as soon as you lay, lay down or as soon as you sit back and put that nigga on your lap, that nigga go straight to sleep. But I actually kind of like that because me personally, bro, like, I like fun <laughs> dogs. I like dogs with energy and shit. But when I'm ready to chill, chill your ass out, bro. I don't like dogs to be, be amped up and shit when you're ready to chill the fuck out. Like, sit your monkey ass down. Energetic ass animal. Anyways, y'all, this little nigga funny as shit, though. For some reason, he likes sleeping with his fucking neck all the way back like that shit broken or something. I don't know why the fuck he like that shit. Every time I try to adjust his neck, he put that bitch back exactly how it is. So I, I done gave up on it. At this point, you can sleep with your neck like that. So that's going to have a goddamn crook in that bitch. If y'all folks uh, see my Frenchie two years from now and he got a weird looking neck, this is why. Shit, I'm over here turning my goddamn car with my fingers, y'all. Because I can barely hold the steering wheel because this little bitch is laying on my fucking arm. But I'll get back to y'all boys when we get in the crib because... Once we get to the house, we're going to set up all of his uh, toys, his bed, and put all his bowls and stuff up and get him situated because, you know, you know, dogs got to goddamn mark their territory and do all that little extra ass shit. So I guess I'll get to y'all boys when we is at the crib, man. So I see y'all boys in like 20, 30 minutes. Well, it's only going to be a couple seconds to y'all, but it's 20, 30 minutes to me. So see y'all a little, a little bit later. Y'all boys. So that boy Ghost is in the new crib. Looks like he likes it because he's already in here fucking shit up and getting in the shit. Look at this nigga Lee. Man, nigga was just dragging the crib and tree. Stop, bruh. You only been here for five minutes. Now, mind you, I done had you for two hours, but you only been in the house for five minutes. You done already peed on my floor. Now you trying to fuck my Christmas tree up. Stop, little nigga. Why is you so bad? Just stop. And now you trying to bite me. Leave me alone. Huh, you want a toy? We got him some toys, y'all. I could already tell that he's finna be a handful it's crazy because when I'm chilling, he's chilling. But the moment he see that, like, I'm not laying down or I'm not vibing, that man be on 10. It's like he could sense the energy or something. I don't know, y'all. Because like I said, when we was in the car smoking and kicking it, he was good. When we was walking around through the grocery store, he was good. As soon as I got in the house, now this man want to bite on my clothes and pull on me and act all bad. You was not just acting bad like this. An hour ago, five minutes ago, what the fuck just happened to you? You done turned to a damn a little villain all of a sudden. Anyways, though, y'all, we got little bruh bed set up, you feel me? We got his uh, bowls and stuff set up. We got him some little baby toys, as y'all seen at the toy store, because, shit, bruh, he's a little baby man. He need little baby toys because he's, he's a bad little baby. Hold on, y'all. What you doing, bro? I'm going to put some food in there. You got to wait, you little hungry shit. I'm going to give you a toy first. All right, this is your first toy. Your first toy in the new house, huh? You ready? Get it. Get it. Get it. Man, you, all right, bro. Oh, bro. See your ass keep got down chasing my fucking feet and shit. Nigga, I almost kicked your little ass. So in all honesty, and, and just being completely the fuck honest,
Brittany, she really don't need no water, Brittany. I'm a good father, so, you know, I'm fuck with you. Here you go, bud. You only get a little bit, though, bro. Hey, stop, bro, and don't, oh, bro! You ain't even let me finish putting the water in the ball. You dug your whole face in that bitch. Move. Alright, so you got a little bit of water. We're gonna get gang a little bit of food, because I know his ass probably hungry. And then after that, we're gonna take this nigga to use the bathroom again, because I know it's gonna be time for him to use the bathroom. <coughs> Ew. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Puppy food fucking stink. This shit look like goddamn shit in a can. This is like some chum bucket ass shit. Ew. Oh, a little, uh, a little cook up, man. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little scoop of this. I'm gonna take a little bit of his dog food, wet it up, and then we're gonna mix it all together. And then you know we're gonna make him some doggy concoction, dookie, whatever. Stop biting the fucking Christmas tree. Yo, we gotta take that Christmas tree down today. Stop. Stop. You bad shit. This nigga get bored and just get the fucking shit up. Why the hell is you pulling leaves off that goddamn Christmas tree, nigga? Christmas tree ain't do shit to you. And it's been here nice and fine before you came, so don't come fucking shit up. This nigga is bad, y'all. Hold up, bro. I'm finna cook up some shit. Calm your little ass down. Boop. Shaboop. Stop messing with that tree, boy. All right, y'all. Let's go ahead and cook this bowl up. <coughs> because the quicker I cook his bowl up, the quicker he'll stop fucking shit up. It seems like until I get his bowl made, he's going to keep doing little bad stuff. I'm about to make it, you, you fucking impatient fuck. Wait, nigga. You could tell he hungry, y'all. Look at him, man. He, he, he's all up in the brush. Just wait, bro. Shit. I ain't going to lie, y'all. This is why, this is how I know I don't want kids for real, bruh. Just chill. You, you nudging on me crying, I'm finna make it. Y'all hear this nigga crying? That's how you know this dog is smart as shit. Like, he seen me pick up the food bowl, and he know I'm finna make his food, and now he fucking rushing me. Get your ass back, nigga, leave me alone. I gotta heat up the water to soften your food. Stop rushing me, little bitch. Alright, so we're gonna heat up this little water inside this glass right here. And then got down you feel me. Then we're gonna mix it in with the food and give my boy a little cook up because it sounds like he's fucking hungry. Crap it bad dog. Say me and my jit, man. My jittle tang. Jittle yang. Little jittle yang. Bloop. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Around. 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 We finna get you some food. Stop crying. It's a little cry baby ass. You's the most crying ass dog. Stupid ass. Alright, y'all. I think that water should be fucking hot enough. If you, you wanna be honest, I left the water in there too long, so we're gonna have to combat the heat with a little bit of cool. <laughs> Alright, man. So we, we we cooking up your food right now, you impatient little shit. Stop goddamn nudging on me. This dog smart as hell, y'all. It's, it's actually kind of fucking annoying. I don't know what's worse, y'all. Dumbass dogs or smart ass dogs. Now, see, a smart dog could be a problem. Because depending on how smart he is, he knows what he's capable of doing. But a dumb dog could also be a fucking problem. Because you don't understand shit I'm saying. And you just you just living. Stop, bro. This nigga, bro. I'm making the food. Get off of my leg. Thank you. I'm, I'm making it. I know you smell it. Calm down. Shut up! It's coming. I can't make it any faster, bro. You you whining and pulling on me. Ain't gonna make me cook this food any faster, little nigga. Calm your ass down. Get on my leg. Bro, how do how do you open this? Bro, am I dumb or something? What's going on here? Hold on, y'all. I'm trying to figure out how to open up this nigga food. This nigga food is difficult as shit. Nigga gave me the most expensive food for a puppy you could buy. Gross. Gross. Stop crying. I'm opening it as we speak. I have to make it, little nigga. It's not ready to go. Stop biting on me. It's coming. Bro, y'all hear this nigga, bro? Calm down, bro. It's coming, bro. I promise you it's coming. That nigga said it ain't coming fast enough. Thug lad.
Like, bro, call, not, this little nigga is on 10, man. Look at him. He said, you getting some snacks? Back. That little nigga said, that little nigga said, you getting, you getting snacks, Unky? Hey. Yo, your uncle got snacks, bro. Don't fuck with his ass. Look at him, twin. He hear the bags. He know you lying. Oh, God, I keep accidentally, like, stepping back and shit. I'm like, bro, move. Leave that shit alone. All right, child boys. So, we got that boy some dog food mixed with a little bit of the puppy food. We're going to stir this shit around, you feel me? Create a little puppy doggy concoction, shitty, boo boo, messy, whatever the fuck, because this shit looks disgusting. But he's gonna love this shit, y'all. I don't know what the fuck it is about mushy ass food, but puppies love <coughs> nasty shit. Like, and the worst part about it is he's fucking white, y'all. So this nigga is finna eat this shit and get fucking dirty. That shit's gonna piss me off. But you know what? Whatever. You actually don't need this much. I actually gave your ass too fucking much. I'm finna take, finna take some of this shit out of here, y'all. I think this is too much food for his little ass. So with that being said, we're gonna put some of this in a plastic bite. All right, bro, come on, bro. Man, do y'all hear this, man, bro? Like, this man is annoying as fuck. Needs to be talking about, I want a dog. No, you don't. Ew, look at him. It's chow time. Nasty fuck. Why is it water on the ground? Oh, because you spilled your water. My bad, bro. Yeah, move around. Let me clean that water up by your feet. Say so this man tracking paw prints all around my house because his fucking little ass feet keep getting wet because the nigga keeps stepping in fucking every goddamn thing. easy baby to deal with when he want to be easy. I think it's the same thing with this little nigga. Like, when he chilling, he good. As soon as that nigga get some energy, fuck. Get your ass down. God damn it. Fuck. Ugly. But yeah, man. Say, that boy is fed. That boy done had water. I, I shouldn't hear no more yapping out your little crybaby ass, man. Now, worst come to worst, and you get to crying again, I give you a little bit of food, a little bit more water. But I ain't gonna lie, bro. In like 10 minutes, you finna have to use the bathroom again. Because I know you're gonna have to piss and shit after eating and drinking food. So let me put y'all down. To all the young niggas that's watching my vlog right now. If you plan on buying a dog, you need to take your dog out three times a day. Once in the morning, once in the afternoon, and once at night. That's how every dog operates. Dog kind of operate like people. You as a nigga, bro, you use the bathroom when you wake up. You probably use it once in the afternoon, and you use it once before you go to sleep. It's the same exact shit for they ass. So if you get a dog, make sure you feed them in the morning. Take them out right after you feed them. Like, get in the habit of taking your dog out right after you feed your dog, because then it'll train your dog to know, like, oh, after I eat, it's time to use the bathroom. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man. After he get done eating, we're going to lay that nigga on the pad and try to force that man to pee or poop because he's going to have to sometime soon because he has a very tiny, teeny, tiny bladder. But, yeah, if you want a dog... Full-time responsibility. It's like owning a child. It's bad as shit. This nigga cries and whines. And he's not dumb. He's actually pretty smart. So he know what the fuck is going on. And I think that's the worst part of it all. The fact that he's not dumb. Bro, you got... A little messy fuck, bro. Nigga got, got food all over his nose and shit, bro. Bro, you want some more, bro? I give you some more. Just calm down. That nigga is... Bro, scraping the bowl, cuz. Bro, I'm finna give you some more, bro. Just chill out, bro. It's your little dirty mouth ass. All right, so this hungry ass little nigga is done eating his food. We finna, uh, you feel me, play with him for like five, ten minutes. Then I'm finna make your ass get on that pee pad because I know you're going to have to poop or shit. And you're not finna pee on my floor again. Yeah, I'm talking about first five minutes of being in the new crib. That man went and wazzed all over my shit, man. What are you doing, bro? All right, y'all, so we finna open up all these little toys, man. We got this boy some tennis balls, you feel me? Cut paws, man, but all dogs like 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 balls and stuff, bro. You feel me? We had to get him small ones, though, because you feel me? The other one too big. He probably wasn't going to be able to do what he want to do. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, bro, you got a ball, bro. Mm. Maybe he'll care eventually, but right now he don't care. All right, let's see what else we got. That's it, y'all. And last but not least, we got treats because 
you got to train your dog. It ain't no way to train a dog without treats, man. The best way to get a dog trained is to give them a reward. So, you feel me? I'm going to try to, like, make them sit down, roll over, and all that stuff. And every time you do something good, you get one of these. So, hopefully, by the time we run out of this whole bag, he'll be at least 50% trained. That's what I'm hoping. Now, mind you, we can only pray for the best because, shit, bro, he is a puppy, and he's bad. And he going to do what the fuck he want to do, regardless of what I tell him to do. We, we can only try to teach him. I, he going to learn. Shit, I'm going to make this nigga learn, but... You get what I'm saying. Young niggas sleep like a dad that work four jobs. The boy knocked the fuck out, boy. That nigga slumped in here, y'all. Said I got down, fed his ass, gave him something to drink. That nigga went straight to sleep. All right, y'all boys, so we the first 24 hours in of Lil' Brush staying in my crib. Now, mind you, that man woke me up early as hell this morning, y'all. So, to everybody got down, want a dog, you want a puppy and shit, it's just like having a goddamn baby. That motherfucker get to crying and whining and all that shit at like 9 o'clock in the morning when it's time for him to use the bathroom. And that bitch be having to eat, piss, shit, sleep, and all that shit like three times a day. So, Lil' Bro wake up in the morning on the bullshit. He get on the bush in the afternoon, and he get on the bush at night. And a lot of say, we got them man pee pads all set up. By the end of the day, you gonna be you you not gonna pee on my fucking floor no more, little bro. I'm tired of y'all ass peeing on my floors and and peeing on my goddamn uh shit, bro. He be peeing everywhere, man. He man be peeing and shitting all over my hardwood floors. But we got pee pads put in all the areas that he be using the bathroom at. So nine times out of ten, next time he use the bathroom, he'll understand that he should use it on this shit. But we finna fill his food bowls up and make this nigga uh, some goddamn puppy food. Because all he got is water. He ain't had nothing to eat yet. Little bad Annie. Little bad Annie. Little bad Annie. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. This nigga bad as shit. But let's go ahead and get this nigga shit cooked up, man. So I ain't gonna lie, bro. This nigga puppy food look nasty as fuck, y'all. Hold up. Show y'all the goddamn concoction we be having to put together for Lil' Bruh. So, hold on, we gotta go over here somewhere. So, first thing first, Lil' Bruh be eating, Lil' Bruh be eating gourmet puppy food. So, we gonna go ahead and put it back over, you feel me? I'm gonna pour that man a little, a little something, something in there. Alright, boom. And we take puppy food, and what I be doing? I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I mean, now mind you, you ain't got to be the extra, bro. You can give your dog water out the sink, out the refrigerator. Now me, I just be giving him the same water I be drinking. So, like, what I be doing there, like, you feel me? I crack open the water bottle, and then got them. Shit, if I ain't finished it, and it's time for your food to be made, I just use my water. Got now make the nigga food and shit. Now, mind you, he ain't getting no dedicated water bottle for me to make his food. That's OD as fuck. But... <laughs> I do be got down, you feel me, letting my boy use my little, what's this water called? Uh, I'm trying to think of the name of the water, y'all. Spring water. There we go. Because spring water and alkaline water, all that shit good for you. Anyways, though, I'm tripping. I ain't even heating water up yet, y'all. I'm going to put this in the microwave. All right, so I be throwing the water in the microwave for like 30 seconds to let that shit get warm. And then I got... This little nasty ass shit right here, y'all. I don't know what the fuck this shit is. This is like puppy food. Now, mind you, I don't know what it's made out of. It say it's made out of chicken and all that good shit. My point is, this shit stink. It smell like goddamn tuna fish or something. But I be putting that shit in his food because, mind you, like I told y'all, that man don't eat like, uh, he don't eat hard food. Everything be having to be soft. So I'm finna show y'all how we cook this up real quick, man. I'm finna get in my... Finna get in my chef bag real quick, y'all. Hold on, I got the camera right though. All right, chef bag, let's do it. So, you got your puppy food in here, you feel me? This shit hard as a rock. He ain't gonna be able to eat it. So, what you gotta do is, you gotta come through with the goddamn hot water. Boom. Now, mind you, this water is piping hot. Y'all see, it's like smoke coming off of the water and shit. So, what I do is, I leave this in the refrigerator so it be cold. Take me like a spoon of this motherfucker, man. 
throw that bit right in there with the food. You feel me? And then I just mix it all together because I ain't gonna lie, since the water be hot and the food be cold, like it be cooling off. They be cooling each other off. You get what I'm saying? So like it don't be hot when I give it to them. Cause I ain't gonna lie, if you try to get that nigga some hot shit, that nigga not gonna eat that shit. So we gonna mix this shit together, get this shit all nice and got down, you feel me? Stirred up and shit, let this food soak this shit up a little bit. Then we gonna got down and get this shit a little brush so he could eat. Alright. This shit stank, y'all. This shit smelled like fucking tuna water. Like, shit smell like fish in a can. Alright, so his food is got them damn near ready. It just need to soak up a little bit more of that water. And then, clean my goddamn counter off. Oh, yeah. To anybody that's watching this, I know a lot of y'all probably thinking like, damn, bro, you got a dog, bro. That shit gonna slow you down. Hell nah, that shit gonna speed this shit up. Because one thing about me is, now I got two people to pay for to eat. And not only do I got two people I got to pay for to eat, you feel me? Like, shit, I'm not going to let a dog slow me down, y'all. If anything, that nigga Ghost is only going to help us make more content. So, to everybody that think Ghost is going to slow down my vlogs or slow me down from uploading and shit or, like, distract me, hell nah. Ghost going to make me lock in more because now I just got more money to spend and, shit, I got a new person to put in my content. So, to all the people that be like, damn, bro, getting a dog might be a bad idea. It's not a bad idea. For one, he gonna make me my money back. For two, he's entertaining, so he'll do good in the vlogs. And for three, that nigga ain't cheap. So, I ain't gonna lie, buying him, I ain't got no time to goddamn slow down. Because if I slow down, shit, I ain't gonna be able to afford the little nigga. The nigga food costs like $200. The nigga pee pads like $300. The nigga shots like $400, and he got three rounds of shots left. So with that being said, if I stop working, I'm going to fuck myself over. So, yeah, y'all. Don't think a dog finna keep me from working or keep me from grinding. We still locked in. We still doing daily content and daily vlogs. And all Ghost going to do is help us lock in even more. No cap, no kids. But let me clean out the water bowl because they need water bowl dirty as shit. And then after that, we finna go ahead and serve little bro up. Ghost, come here. Hold that fucking shit up. Come on. Alright, so this nigga little nasty mess is finally uh conjured up. We got the food in the bowl. We're gonna go ahead and pour up LeBron some water. Hold up. I like giving them to him at the same time, cause they man impatient and shit. So if you don't give them to him at the same time, he'll be barking and crying and shit. Nigga damn near be demanding shit. Like what the fuck, LeBron? Shut the fuck up. I'm gonna hear that shit. I'm pouring up your water, bro. Chill, chill out, bro. Look at him. What, bro? Who you jumping at? Stop, bro. You can't make nobody give you nothing. What are you doing? <laughs> you happy about that fool, bro? That fool make you excited. You fat as shit, bro. Like, it ain't no reason fool get you that amped up, bro. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I'm so glad I got white ass feet like my daddy, bro. Them bitches could have been ugly. Now, mind you, I ain't saying they pretty, but shit, they ain't, they ain't terrible. Anyways, all right, y'all hear this nigga crying? Shut up, bro. Here, bro, come on. Ugh. All right, food and water put down on the floor, y'all. That nigga is, he's locked in. I'm talking about as soon as you put it down, that nigga, has, he not going to leave his bowl until all that shit gone. That nigga be hungry as shit. All right, so... While he doing that, you feel me? I'm finna get damn. Anyways, while he doing that, I'm finna get dressed for the day. So I'll see y'all boys in a second. No cap, no kids. I need to wash my face, put my clothes on. I ain't got no haircut. I said haircut. I ain't got no haircut. So we wearing a fucking uh, ski mask or a skull cap today. Y'all niggas don't judge me. Tell me uh, what I just say, skull. I said something stupid. Anyways. I just woke up. Fuck y'all. Y'all brains don't be working completely when you first wake up neither. So I don't want to hear that shit. But, see y'all boys in a second. Hey, man. That's hey, a. Got my boy Damo here with me, man. Y'all boys gotta go. Gotta go. Gotta go get you one. See, the thing for me is, y'all, you know, I'm big on surprises. I told y'all I had a surprise for y'all. I know y'all ain't expect to be a dog, though. Saying it ain't, it ain't the regular one, y'all. Y'all gotta take a look. Hold on, y'all. Take a look. Take a little look. So we having, we having real deal fluffies, man. Y'all boys want some high quality dogs. I'm talking about good temperament, man. 
They're going to be, they going to come to you. They're going to train easy, man. They're going to treat your kids well. You want a nice pet, good companionship. I'm talking about award-winning bloodlines too, y'all. You got to come. Got to come fuck my boy and go shop with his kennel, man. Oh, God. Tell him one more time, 20, because they ain't here. We're going to put this shit right here on the screen. See how boys go copy our puts, man. But they say, welcome ghosts to the family, man. Alright child, so we at my, my dude's crib. This man is not that cold, man. We finna get a reaction of what everybody think of my boy Ghost, man. So, with that being said, I will get back to y'all when we is on the inside. If y'all wondering why the quality might be a little bit different, it's because I'm vlogging off the phone. Because I left my SD card in my camera. <coughs> but I'm still gonna get this content in one way or another, man. So, you feel me? That boy not that, though. Get back to y'all in the crib, though. Alright child, so... First reaction to the dog. Mom likes him. My other dog, on the other hand, does not. Tell him, Chewy, you, you ain't smelling it, man. Chewy said he not smelling, he not smelling the new edition, y'all. Chewy said he the original. I ain't gonna cap though, Chewy. You know you always hold a special place in my heart. Say so no matter how many dogs I get, you're the first and you're the most loved. And you will always be my firstborn and my most loved son. <coughs> Say, I might got a new son, y'all, but I ain't going to cap y'all. I'm going to always love this dog more than any other dog I get. That boy has been a car crash with me. That boy has been through damn near every situation I've been in my life. Now, mind you, I'm going to build a lot of memories with Ghost too. but I ain't going to lie. You ain't never going to be able to get rid of memories I got with Chewy. So that's why, like, I ain't going to lie, man. He's always going to be my favorite dog. But yeah. Just walked in the door, and after 24 hours of fighting with this dog to get him to stop peeing and shitting on my floor, we finally got him to pee on the pee pad. Good boy! Good boy! And then, you feel me? Not only did we get him to pee on the pee pad, we also got him to poop on the pee pad. So... After 24 hours of fighting with this dog and him using the bathroom wherever he wanted to, we finally got this man halfway potty trained. Now, mind you, he ain't going to be potty trained in 24 hours. He's still going to use the bathroom on the floor sometimes and shit like that. But he's starting to realize that the pee pads are used for him to use the restroom. So he's like kind of getting it through his head. It ain't going to happen overnight, but we're going to keep working with him and hopefully it'll happen eventually. Time for a little motivational speech, man, and then we're going to get to the outro. I want to tell y'all, folks, I appreciate y'all, of course, because I tell y'all that all the time. We've been growing crazy. I want to thank y'all for 40K subs. We hit 40K in the last video, and I woke up today to 42,000. We gained 2,000 subs in a night in one video, y'all. I want to let y'all know that no matter what you're doing, no matter how far you go, I want y'all to remember to stay humble and remember where you came from. I think one of the biggest reasons that my platform go, grows so fast or that people mess with my content so much is because I really stay genuine and stay true to myself. Now, mind you, I know I'm making money. I know I'm not a normal person or an average person, but I'm skin, bones, flesh, and blood just like everybody else. So with that being said, I never treat y'all differently. I never look at y'all like y'all anything less than me, and I always want y'all to know you can accomplish anything you want to accomplish. You can reach my level, surpass my level. And at the end of the day, we're not in competition. So I want y'all folks to understand that you're going at your own pace. You're doing things at your own time. And it's not a race. It's a marathon. It ain't about who get it the quickest. It's about who keep it the longest. But I just want to tell y'all folks to be true to you. Chase your dreams. Strive high. And I want y'all to realize, like, nothing comes overnight. Nothing's going to fall into your lap. So you got to put in that work. But if you put in that work and you keep doing what you're supposed to do, Eventually, things will work out in your favor. Same way it did for me. Every day I'm getting up grinding. Every day I'm getting up working. Y'all see these consistent vlogs. Y'all see me making this content, but it's a lot of stuff that goes on behind the scenes, too. But what I want to let y'all know is, if I wasn't doing all of the stuff that I'm doing, none of this would be happening. So don't expect nothing to just fall into place. Like, you got to give it the domino effect. You got to give it the first push in order for things to keep going in your direction. So 
what I would tell you is, man, make sure you're always working, always thinking, and just dream big, man. And last thing I want to tell y'all folks is, uh, since I've been dropping these vlogs and doing these videos on TikTok and stuff like that, I've been going viral and I've been gaining a lot of people that mess with me. Our family base has been getting big as hell. The ghost family has been growing like a motherfucker. But this social media shit also comes with a lot of hate. It's a double-sided sword. You're going to have people that love you and mess with your content. And you're going to have people that don't like you and want to see you fail. But what I want y'all to understand is we don't do this for the recognition. I tell y'all that all the time. So I don't care about the people that's watching me that don't like me. And to be honest, I do this for all the people that watch me and love me. So if you don't like me, you're only going to... Keep watching me and you're only going to keep hating me because I'm only going to get bigger and I'm only going to keep doing this because I ain't doing this for just me. I'm doing this for my family and everybody look up to me. So what I can tell you is, man, if you got haters, just know you're doing something right because nobody going to hate on you for no reason. And another thing I tell y'all folks is, man, if you got people that dislike you, I want you to understand, man, with love comes hate. And with this, this social media shit, with this clout shit, man, like I said, it's a double-sided sword. You can feed your family, but it's also a lot of responsibility because it's envy that comes with this, and there's going to be a lot of people that don't like you. So what I want to tell y'all folks is, man, I don't care if you're a content creator. I don't care if you're a, a person that's a school teacher. You could be a lawyer. It's going to always be somebody that don't like you. But you want to know why it don't matter? Because nobody's opinion in the world matters but yours because at the end of the day, you only lead this world with yourself. Nobody can go in that casket with you. So what I want to tell y'all folks to do is live for yourself, make yourself happy, and do what you want to do. I ain't going to lie. It was funny to take them over my grandma's house because I was just wondering what everybody's reaction was going to be of him. Shit, everybody loved him except for my dog. Now, mind you, when I very first walked in there, my dog was growling at him and barking at him. By the time I got ready to leave, you feel me, they was playing together and he was smelling them and stuff. So he finally got like acclimated to being around the new puppy but when i very first brought that puppy in the house my dog didn't want nothing to do with that nigga he was growling at that nigga running from that nigga i'm fairly certain if i would have put him in front of his face he probably would have bit him but after being over there for like an hour and keeping them in each other's face they finally got used to each other and they was playing and stuff like that but as far as like my family goes, my granddad love him. My grandma thinks he's the cutest thing in the world. My mama thinks he's funny and she thinks he's cute. And my sister loves him, of course. So everybody is satisfied with my purchase, man. So with that being said, you feel me? Looks like the new dog is welcome to the family. And nobody got a problem with him. So he's fitting right in perfectly. But yeah, man. It's pretty cool to have a dog because, like I said, I needed a sense of responsibility. I needed something to do throughout the day. I do be lonely. And all in all, you feel me, I feel like I need uh, companionship and shit like that. And I feel like it's good to bring him into the vlogs because, you feel me, it's like a it's like an extra character in the vlogs, y'all. Because if you be watching my vlogs, I don't know how y'all feel about it. But I feel like my life is kind of like a TV show or a movie. So adding an extra character or a pet to the TV show slash movie of Casper sounds like a good idea to me. Ugly. But we done with the yap session, man. I'm about to take my ass to sleep so we could wake up and start a new episode. All I'm going to tell y'all folks is, man, a dog is a full-time responsibility, a full-time commitment. But what I can tell you is, man, it does, like, really... It like really like gives you a sense of responsibility and it just like really like makes you realize that like you have to have patience, you have to have like time management skills. Like dogs just remind you of a lot of stuff you forget about when you just live it on a day to day basis. It's almost like having a child. But I'm satisfied with little bro, man. We've been having a lot of fun. I'm not gonna lie. He likes his new home and and Ghost likes me, and I like him, so we've been having a lot of fun. He also likes the camera, y'all. I don't know what he thinks the camera is. I guess he thinks it's like a... I don't know, y'all. I don't know if he thinks the camera is like a toy or what, but he loves the camera, y'all. Say, a all-white fluffy Frenchie with gray eyes. Dang, why you so... I'm trying to show them what you look like, bro. You keep being extra. Oh, yeah, y'all. And check out his collar before we leave. You see the front of his collar... Hold up, y'all. The front of his collar says, it say ghost. And then on the back of his collar, you feel me? Hold on, I got to show y'all. It says, not worth, what'd that say? Not worth dying yeah, over. Oh. Say, 
That boy Ghost is he settled in, y'all. I feel I feel like he understands that this is his home now. You understand it's your home now, cuz? Ghost. Say hey, man. To everybody that's watching the YouTube, welcome to the Ghost family. If you ain't already liked the video, like the video. If you ain't already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe because we're on the road to 100K. And me and Ghost are only going to get bigger and better. And we only going to grow and elevate more. So if y'all want to be a part of the journey, man, and y'all want to join the Ghost family, go ahead and hit that sub button. Go ahead and like the video, comment on the video. And I love y'all folks, and I will see y'all in another Day in the life of Casper. No cap. I'ma show you nigga how to buy, show you nigga how to play.